Hey there, good morning, what's up, what's happening? Welcome to um, Mark Paints His Living Room. This is the second day of painting. Uh, I started last night at like 9 p.m. And uh, so yeah, I landed on this beautiful moss green. It's the far right one, crushed oregano. And uh, yeah, I just wanted something, I wanted some, uh, some color in here. As you know, the winners get a little colorless and uh, so yeah, I wanted, uh, wanted some color in here. I originally thought I was gonna go a little bit more like this green, maybe a forest green. This is the, uh, the new chair. Ta-da! Try not to get paint on any of these things. But yeah, I have to give it a second coat today. But I love it, it's so pretty. The more I think about it, I kinda just wanna continue on. And also I got a full gallon, and gallons are good for like 400 square feet. And this wall was like a quarter of that size. Contemplating on this wall here, the desk wall. Also, here's your tip of tea. All right, dudes, guess what? The room, you can see it behind you. It's completely done, uh, for now anyways. What do you think? Uh, I didn't end up painting any of those walls uh, or the office. I just wanna live with this for a little while and fill it out, see how it is. Welcome to my apartment complex gym. Cable machine, dumbbells up to 50 pounds, a bench, and uh, a bunch of cardio equipment. 80, 90% of my workouts can be done with the cable machine. Um, I sort of transitioned out of doing like crazy heavy weights uh, and do more, more body weight uh, and just more functional fitness training if that's a thing. If I don't exercise, um, anxiety like runs my life. And so that's why I'm always so adamant on strongly recommending exercise of any kind of people. Exercise is just so good for the mind and body and spirit. And if you're better, then everyone else is better. And the world is just a little bit, a little bit more peaceful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Olive would love you. Look at this. Yeah, look at me. I'm like, I'm thoroughly tied up right now. Wow. <laughs> I was like, really? You ready to go? I, I, sorry, I was too busy trying to frank the shot. What was the joke though? Do you want to try it on me again? Let's see if it works the second time. Just, uh... Did you take all of them? We did. Yeah. <laughs> then we I feel like it was a little too cold for her to sit on the concrete outside. Yeah. Wow, rude. Okay, now I get why it says big boy. <laughs> <laughs> JP admiring the, hey there, big what boy. Is that? We have to blur that out, actually. <laughs> We got some mood lighting going on. Some mood lighting for some moody girls. I'm 30 years old. I think I met you when I was 20. Yeah, you were underage. I was at yeah. the drinking level, drinking yeah, age. We've known each other for 10 years. That's nuts. JP and I, we met uh, on Facebook. Is that right? Yeah, you reached out to me, I remember. I reached out to you on Facebook? Very for real? Ballsy, yeah. Dude, Facebook was the matchmaker back in the day. Yeah. I mean, it connected people, like it said. And then we had we went to same, the same college. We actually lived two blocks away from each other. Which was also very weird, but uh... And we were gay. Yeah. Obviously. Wait. Uh, what? Are you gay? And then we dated for like... It was quick. Six. Less than six months. So fast forward ten years later, we dated, we've traveled, I, I call you when I'm at like my lowest, and... I, I cry and you hold me uh, virtually. Like everyone should have a JP because you really, like you honestly taught me like what it means to be a good friend. Hmm. I don't think I was ever qualified to be a friend until I met you. And um, 
Yeah, you've helped me through some of the shittiest times in my life. Yeah. So thank you so much for that. Yeah. No, that's, a, that's the thing. I don't want you to gas me up. I want you to do the opposite. I actually want you <laughs> to, to, to roast me. Okay. And maybe tell them something, like annoying things about me that yeah. they may not know. Mark, uh, Mark for a long time actually was not a good friend. And, and I say that because... Now we have an incredible friendship, um, probably top tier, like steak kind of like friendship, mm -hmm. you know, like the, what is that really Wagyu beef? I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but for a long time, it was a challenge to really connect with you. You know, you were a very closed off person, very private person. Um, you never shared much about who you were. I got, I got a very uh, surface level version of you. And because of that, I never really got to like actually connect with you. So you never invested in me. And so I think for quite a long time, I saw the potential in you. And I really, in the short time we dated, I really developed a lot of feelings for you. And I kind of rode that wave for a while. You know, I, I rode it um, because I, I knew, I knew deep down like there was somebody in there that was worth investing in and that's the kind of person that I am and um, probably has gotten me in some trouble <laughs> let's be real um, but this has paid off you know I um, I feel so lucky to have you as a friend in my life right now because you've later in life helped me through some of the toughest decisions I've had to make in my personal life and you've helped me have a lot of revelations about myself. And all you do is really just listen and ask good questions. Um, but that's all I really wanted the whole time, is for you to listen and then ask me questions about who I was. And uh, we have that now. Yeah. And I'm so happy that I do have that with you. Thank you for not giving up on me. It's, uh, it's just interesting to see how far you've come. You know, I was just talking to you um, about even a year ago. I don't even, I don't recognize this mark. Like, mm -hmm. the mark that's sitting in front of me right now. You, the version of you a year ago, totally different person. That was too nice. You said too nice of things. I was hoping you'd like tear me apart. I did. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah. In my own JP way. <laughs> you, were, you were a shell of a person, but... <laughs> you were hollow, you were dead inside, and you really didn't give me much, so... Of course I wanted to be your friend. Yeah. When we met, you were just like, grow up so we can date and have fun. Yeah, I Isn't I'm that sure. kind of what you wanted, like, a little bit from... I really wanted that, yeah, absolutely. I feel like my entire 20s, I was a serial monogamist. I was in constant long-term relationships the entire 10 year span. Most of the time when I was in those relationships, I had no idea what it is that I exactly needed from this person. I was just in it because it felt like, this is what you're supposed to do. And there's some truth to that. But you don't wanna go so far as to say that like, the relationship, if it doesn't work out, is the end of the world. The relationships that you're in in the beginning really teach you the things that you value in other people. And you're able to extract those lessons from the relationship and store them so that you can understand what you want later in life. I'm now more confident than ever and I've been single for two years and I know exactly what I'm looking for in a partner and I won't settle until I find that. And it's only because I went through those 10 years of dating the wrong person. What about you? Any parting words for you about relationships? Because uh, you've just gone through... I don't... I talk all the time. I wanted to hear from you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to do the... the love you see bye? Like... I'll be like, okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you very soon. And I love you. And then I will see you never. <laughs> <laughs> and bye.
Oh, were we? That wasn't a test. That was the. That was that it. Was the thing. That, um, do you want a round two? No, no, no. It's fine. I'll prove it. I'll have my people call your people. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Before we go, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Cooking for myself often gets boring because I cook the same three things. And then HelloFresh came along and was like, hey there, bud, are you in a recipe rut? Because you're in luck. We've got you covered with our roasted pepper, cavotapi melano. Mwah. The holidays can be a little crazy, but with HelloFresh, keep things simple by cutting out grocery runs and limiting meal prep time. Their limited edition holiday boxes include everything you need to cook up a family feast, no planning necessary. With veggie, pescatarian, and calorie smart options, HelloFresh makes it easy to eat well, plus they source their produce directly from farmers. Their pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep and less wasted food. They're also doing their part by using recyclable and or already recycled content for packaging. Go to hellofresh.com slash markymiller14 and use code markymiller14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. That's hellofresh.com slash markymiller14 and use code markymiller14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. That's fire, man. Yeah, that's really good. It slaps. It slapped my mouth and my tongue with flavor. It's like, excuse me? You're not gonna slap that hard. <laughs> <laughs>